While Southern California's coastal waters are healthier than two decades ago, this month's Orange County oil spill underscores the vulnerability of the region's marine life, and is helping bring to the surface ongoing threats of climate change and contamination from a range of sources. State policies, some used as models worldwide, and more stringent federal regulations have steadily improved the region's ocean water quality, marine life habitat and coastal protections during this century. Mother Nature and climate change is moving faster than our laws and policies. Contaminated urban runoff into the ocean continues to be a problem and plastic waste is having a growing impact on marine life, including breaking down into microplastics that make their way into the aquatic food chain and seafood consumed by humans. But experts say the most worrisome threats to the ocean and coastline are directly related to human-fueled climate change. Those climate-related problems are going to get worse, and we've done a horrible job dealing with them, said Richard Ambrose, a coastal ecologist at UCI. The same greenhouse gases responsible for warming the Earth's atmosphere are affecting ocean waters. Average ocean temperatures rose between 0, 6 and 0, 8 degrees Fahrenheit from 1971 to 2010, and are projected to increase by as much as 7 degrees by 2100, according to the 2018 Interagency National Climate Assessment. The increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is also hiking carbon levels in the ocean. The result, an effect known as ocean acidification, is best known for killing coral, but it also makes it more difficult for most shellfish to, to grow shells.